What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Before we do anything, let's go see Elizabeth. Off screen, I went ahead and got the personas needed to complete a few quick requests that we haven't done yet. I'm going to see if we can get as many as we can done before the game tells me I can't anymore because of level or something else gets in the way. First thing I want to take is justice. We're going to have to go into battle for this one, but I do have the personas needed to perform this special spell. And another thing I'd like to do is create an Orthrus with Dodge Slash. There actually is a really easy recipe f of personas that you can use to make, to easily make an Orthrus with Dodge Slash. So let's go ahead and defuse personas. Let's go to a triangle formation. And if you fuse together Valkyrie, Ares, and Pyro, not Pyrojack, sorry, Queen Mab, got your hopes up, you can make an Orthrus. Now, the Valkyrie, just the regular Valkyrie that you can find in Tartarus, has Dodge Slash naturally. So now I just need to find the combination that works. There we go. So an Orthrus that knows Dodge Slash. Thanks a lot, Valkyrie. And, you know, this one knows Agilau and Counter. And it's now going to know Rakar and Rakukaja and Dodge Slash. This will actually be a pretty good persona. And I think I actually do need a fire persona coming up here. So Orthrus... Welcome to the family. It also knows Dodge Ice, or it will here at level 30, and it should reach that because of the extra points. So, hello, brand new Hangman, Orthrus. The stalwart harbinger of thy victory. Sweet. And let's see what else it gets. Hopefully it gets at least one more level. I want to see what's after Dodge Ice. There we go. We reach level 30. I learned Dodge Ice, he gets Fire Boost! Oh, sweet, now Fire Moves are going to be even more powerful. And it learns Mighty Swing at level 33, not bad. Orthrus, you're a very good persona, I'm glad I created you. But now, let's turn this in. Yeah, it only took forever. I could have made this a while ago, but decided to wait until now. I needed to at least be level 28. A special piece of armor. You think it'll suit me well? Nah, I'm sorry. The Tiger Hide Belt. I think I might actually equip that if it has a good enough effect. Now, the thing that takes Orthrus's place... Omitsuna, level 33 or higher. Didn't we make an Omitsuna? Or am I thinking of another one? Let me see. Uh, Omitsuna, there's a Moikane. Omitsuna. Holy crap, we can do this now! It's expensive, but hey, it gets another request out of the way. Oh wait, I already have this one! <laughs> I forgot it's it's actually with me right now, so hey, Elizabeth! Omitsuna, level 33 or higher. There you go. Well, that was pretty easy. And I just made that just for fun. Oh, thanks. It actually is helpful. I don't think I've actually ever used it. Oh, we can create a new persona for this. Not the Taishi. If you're strong enough to control this persona, then please give it a try. I will. We get the machine core to create a brand new persona. Now let's see what else she has for us. Ooh, Black Frost. Via fusion and bring him here. Please do not confuse him with any other frosts. I don't think we can create Black Frost yet. I think that's actually a special fusion that we actually can't do because the story hasn't has told us that we can't yet. Which is okay. Another mission we can do is Justice, which I have taken. And we can't do the silver silver medal yet. So what I'm gonna do instead is oh God. Let's take the fifth old document. And Oh, God, I need four of these? Oh, powerful weapon for I guess, but this is going to... This is probably going to kill me. What is this? The Shouting Tiara's floor, 102 to 113. <sighs> Actually, I think there's an easier way to do these. Oh, so, yeah, we're going to have to take the Knight's Reign. Oh, this is going to hurt so much. But... 
hey, a new weapon for Igus might be worth it. So thanks a lot, Elizabeth. I'm out of here. And now we can get to work. We need to fight our way up to the next blockade, and that's just going to be so much fun. Koromaru, you are going to have your debut tonight. I guess you didn't get too much action last time, so I'll bring you along. And level-wise, I think Mitsuru is the lowest level right now. I think Akihiko and Junpei are, like, one level below her. But I want to bring her along because I want to increase her stats. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go ahead and make a save here. And now, we're off. Let's explore Tartarus, guys! <laughs> uh, I may or may not have made it clear, but this next part of the block, it is so mean. And it's actually the bosses that I'm worried about. It's not too often that I take a look at a segment of Tartarus that I have to do, and I just think, oh my god, that sucks. But... Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to have to do it. And there was a belt in here that I could use, right? Or maybe it's only for a specific person. Yeah, the tiger hide belt. Men's belt made from tiger hide, plus two endurance, but it takes you down to 60. Uh, can I give that to Koro Maru? Oh, hold on a sec. Hey, Koro. Yo, boy. Can I give you the tiger hide belt? Little dog suit. Nah, I didn't think so. Bear paws. <laughs> Bear paws gives you 125 evasion? Dude. Increased dodge against slash attacks. Okay. I forgot to give you something else, so there you go. Koromaru seems happy. That's good. Yeah, so that tiger hide belt, not the best thing in the world. Just based on what I'm seeing, I might be able to give it to another one of the guys. We'll figure that out when we actually bring them along. I am really happy that we're just able to run up these flights of stairs. Oh, just because I really want to get this over with. There's a new blockade. And we're allowed forward. The second half of Yabasha. These enemies get a lot harder. Now I'm not looking forward to it. If there's any red shadows that I see on any of these floors, I'm going to have to fight them to get those knight's reins. Oh, but there's there's just one boss. And it's going to become a common enemy in the later blocks of Tartarus. And it, it ain't fun. It really is not fun. But hey, we got some brand new enemies, I believe. The Insidious Mayas? I don't think we fought these guys. We might have fought them underground. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. But right now, let's just see what they're weak to. Maragion. They weak to fire. Uh, did respectable damage. And a swift strike from Aiga should knock them out. Eh, did all right. Diorama, something I didn't really want to see. Oh, they're weak to eyes, of course. So, Mitsuru, if you wouldn't mind... No! Ooh! And somebody actually did mention that the reason uh, that certain characters do get their portrait shown when it's not a critical hit is because it's their debut in battle. And you know what? That makes a lot of sense. So I'm glad that that happened. Oh, good! He didn't see us. Nice advantage, and... Oh, no! The Wild Drive is now a common enemy instead of a raging enemy. That's not good. Oh, but I have Zeo. Oh my god, this Persona Loa. You are so much better than I expected. Uh, alright, uh, Maragion, hit everybody. I don't know if it was the best idea to bring this many fire Personas? Or fire users. But I think we'll still be able to do well. A swift strike. Let's see what this does. Holy crap, I guess. Damn, are you in great status right now? I'm gonna have to check on that. Is I guess feeling good tonight? 
Maybe she's just getting abnormally lucky. In which case, cool. Uh, that's a Taki Mikazuchi, if I'm not mistaken, but I do not want that. By the way, if you haven't caught on to the pattern for that one, you just have to watch the order the cards go up, and then as they come down, that's... Just uh, remember the number of the card you want. Ooh, new piece of armor, but I think it's female only. Armor with a talisman attached to it, plus two magic and 74 defense? Yeah, I'll take that. And we're off again. Something powerful, you don't say. Alright. I really don't want to deal with it. Uh, but it, it'll be okay. It's all gonna be K. I. Where is it, Fuka? The 98th floor. A ways away? Well, at the rate we're going, we're making pretty good headway into this part of the tower. And. Look at that. <laughs> Four more floors and we're good to go. No, I, th I think we'll survive. <laughs> if this is how it's going to go, that's fine by me. Strong Presence is on the 98th floor. Please be careful. Um, I guess if we get into another battle, I can show off the next uh, fusion spell. Let me just... Sorry, not that. Let's go to our personas and equip a very weak persona, unfortunately. But we do need this in order to use the fusion spell. Let's see. No, nothing there. How about I just meet you in a battle? Ooh, some brand new enemies. Yes! The spell said it needed angels, so if you bring in Angel and Archangel, you can use Justice. Let's take a look. Halves all foes HP via light magic. Boom! Miss? Justice can miss? What a crock! Well, that was kind of shitty. I didn't know Justice could miss! I guess it's just like every other fusion spell. It has a chance of missing. But, oh, that is that is mean. Yeah, what a great way to show that off, and I'm not going to survive this. Yeah, I don't get a turn for this. Mitsuru, can you help me? Thank you. I still have Arch Archangel equipped, and it's not doing me any favors if these guys know win. Darn it, all I wanted to do was show that off. It's going to be all cool, and then... Swing and a miss. Good job, angels. Aw, Koro. Alright. Not gonna make that mistake again. Please, give me back my awesome personas. And I didn't even get a chance to check that guy out. Well, I say that, but I actually didn't even try. So, uh, let's try some electricity. Yes? No. I'm gonna guess it's fire, because it's a blue bird. It's probably got a weakness to fire, and... Yep, there it is, right there. So, Koromaru, if I guess can't kill this thing, can you do me a favor? No, well... He saved magic, and oh my god, that was adorable! You know, I actually found the silver lining to going into the higher floors of Tartarus, even though I'm not particularly confident that we'll win. A lot of the enemies are giving a lot of experience... And just as an example, there are now cards, special shuffle time cards, that now have fives and higher numbers. And uh, it actually really helped because Mitsuru leveled up from one battle that gave me like over 500 experience points. So not bad in the case of getting experience, but also getting money because I found a chest that had like over 30,000 yen in it just because. Like, that was one of my buybacks from the compendium just paid for automatically. So, advantage and disadvantage, because if I let the enemies get the drop on me once, they're probably gonna kill me. 
by the way, on that last floor, I actually leveled up to level 33. Ah, not bad, and there we go. We're on the boss floor. That actually went pretty quickly. But now we get to see what I was so afraid of. It's this boss and the next boss. Three enemies in the middle. Yep, there are. Let's go ahead and take this teleporter. We'll head back down. We'll save. We'll get everybody healed up. And then we're going to have a fight. This next boss is weak to fire. But it drains ice. So you're probably going to want to get a persona that has fire moves that's not weak to ice because it is going to be using ice magic. <sighs> you know what? This is probably my best bet. Loa, I think I'm going to keep you on the front lines because you're going to be an asset. And Koromaru is just weak to light. So he's probably good for this fight. Mitsuru, I believe you can come along. I think she's weak to fire, though. Let me check. Let's see. I guess should be good. She's weak to electricity. So I'll bring her along just for physical damage. Uh, yeah, she's weak against fire. Okay, uh, Mitsuru, I think I'm actually going to sub you out. Well, I need a healer. That's the issue. Uh, I want Aegis as a physical attacker. I want Koromaru because he uses fire. Yeah, Yukari, can you sub in for Mitsuru? Just because she's going to get her ass kicked in this fight. And you're not weak to fire or ice, so you're good. I hope. <laughs> this is probably going to be a disgusting, nasty fight, and I, I just can't wait. Three enemies in the middle. Let's take them down. And there they are. Ugh, bring it on. Three mages. Awesome. This one's dangerous. Stay focused. Yeah, no kidding. These are the magical magus. Give me a second. They start. use a lot of magic. So let's use a lot of magic back. See how much damage I can do with just a... That is not very good. This is probably going to be a slog of a fight. Let's see what happens. Holy shit, maybe not. Knock him down, I guess. But actually, Koromaru, you, you need to be on knockdown. Oh boy. Ooh. Okay, that that hurt a lot. I'm a Karakarn, son of a bitch. Oh crap. And a mind charge, so it's gonna be using magic. Okay, that was the thing I was forgetting about this fight. So now magic is gonna be deflected. And it's gonna hurt a lot. So if they're going to play that game. Uh, I think Koromaru is strong against fire. So I actually want him to still do knockdown. I guess you're still going to be doing that. I want you on heal and support, Yukari. And me, I, I guess I'm just going to be using magical attacks. Or physical attacks, excuse me. Until Koromaru can take down those magic walls. I actually want him to take a hit just to knock out those magic walls. That will actually be really helpful. Bufudine on Koromaru. That's super hurtful. Oh, God. That ice magic. Koro. Oh, he won't do it because of the... Yeah. Ouch. Ah, oh, that hurts. Oh, God. All right. So, yeah, they hit hard. They hit really hard. Decided to sub Mitsuru back in because, from the looks of it, they weren't using fire. They were mainly using difficult ice attacks. So, back with the OG team from when I started this episode. Let's try this again. And this time we'll choose a different tactic. This one's deep. I don't want them to get that magical barrier. That is bad. So, the first thing I'm going to do is have Mitsuru go to heal and support automatically. 
I guess I want you on full assault. I don't want you to stop attacking. Koromaru, I want you on knockdown. They are weak to fire. Please use fire attacks. Here, let me show you. There you go, boy. That's all you gotta do. I never realized how frail these things were. An all-out attack nearly killed them. Mo almost half their health in one all-out attack. So if I can kill them... Yes! Koromaru! That's my boy! Now the other ones. Keep going. One more. Come on, man. Yes! Good boy! That's another all-out attack. Which means... It should almost be dead, and if Igus does a full assault, she uses a swift strike and it hits any of them, they're probably gonna die. Well, maybe not. Okay, there's a Makara Karn. That's okay. Mitsuru's actually gonna go in for an attack because she has no one to heal. Mabufala, that's going to hurt, but not as much. Swift strike, all right, Igus. Multi-hit. Very close, very close. All right. So now that they are just sitting there with a magical barrier, I honestly think physical attacks will help. So instead, Koromaru, I actually want you to use full assault now. And I will go to physical attacks as well. I'll go ahead and use double fangs on the first one to die. Hopefully, fingers crossed. There we go, one down. And now we got a Mabufala right here. What the hell happened? Oh, was that the mind charge one? Well, I'm dead. Damn it. So close. So freaking close. Well, this is bad. Damn it. <laughs> I said her to heal and support and she used a Mabufu. Uh, well. There you go. You deserve that. Oh, Koro! Wow! And why did you go for a slash attack? Oh, it's because I never identified them. Damn it. Ah, oh, I made a mistake. My bad, my bad. Okay. There. Identify them. Use a Maragion again. It's actually it's kind of a sloppy run, but... Uh, the one thing they haven't done is the thing I didn't want them to do, and Mitsuru is right after me, which means Koromaru should be getting healed. Yep. Thank you. And now I guess I believe you're next. One down. There. Magical Magus. Apparently you now know that they're weak to fire. Okay, there's one, and we've won! Good job, Koromaru! That's one way to break in your dog. Woof, woof, indeed. Destroy the mages. Awesome. Okay, that was a pretty good battle the third time. <laughs> Oops. I didn't think we would die that many times, but it, it happens. And we get one precious egg as a reward. Now, normally I would end the episode, but we're actually going to continue. I want to get up to the next blockade. Not the next blockade, but the next boss, actually. And I think that's more of a fitting end to this episode. It it ain't pretty. Let's save real quick, and then we'll head back upstairs. And actually, you know what? While I'm here, might as well turn in using justice. I don't think we lost that data. No, we didn't. We're fine. Elizabeth, enjoy. Yeah, we used Justice, and I nearly died, because Justice didn't work. Okay, it worked, but it missed. Ay ay ay. I mean, you call it Divine Punishment, but only one was punished. Were the other two pure souls? Alright, our reward is five Gorilla Gems. Cool. Next on the list... Frolic. To perform the fusion skill Frolic, you will need Pixie and a Persona with a flower on its head. Hey, five bead chains as the reward? This is not bad. But I now have an open slot. The tiara's hair will go there. And now, we're out. 
Oh, the shadows are only going to get harder from here. And the fact that the the mad shadows, the raging red shadows, are knights. That's messed up, because knights are one-hit kill enemies. Those are the types of enemies that just look at you funny and you keel over. There we have a justice sword. We actually fought these in the underground, and they are weak to wind. Uh... You know what? I don't want to switch from my Loa because I'm actually doing pretty good right now. So, uh, how about a Mamudo? <laughs> Oops. Nice! Koromaru, my god, man! You're having a much better debut than I just did. <laughs> yes! Uh, Kuromaru, God, you got a swing in your step. You're dodging everything. And you're killing everything. My dog, my boy. Oh, that hurt. But we did it. Executed. 308 experience just for that. My gosh. Let's see what you are. I need a new something to kill. And we've already seen you guys before. There we go. We found the stairs. That last battle you saw me get into, I actually picked up a new Persona card, Lamia. Or Lamia. However you want to pronounce it. This is actually a Persona I could have made a while ago, but getting it for free? Not that bad. It comes with Bewilder, Agilao, and Raging Tiger, and it learns Mamudo in one level. Wow, it's only weak to strike? Nullifies fire and darkness, strong against... This is a bitch in Persona. God damn. If we could just get rid of that strike weakness, it'd be perfect. But then again, I'd be asking for the ultimate Persona that has no weakness. And we can't make that yet. Yeah, sure, I can go up a little higher. 101,000 yen! Did I read that right? Or did I add an extra digit? Either way, that was a lot of money just to pick up at random. Oh, God, you guys again? Actually got another Persona card from a battle. And this is actually great because I was going to show a lot of the Personas from the Compendium here soon. Just by fusing older Personas and any cards that I might have just to fill out the Compendium. But Cyrus Vati. Not a bad Ice Persona. Weak to electricity, but, you know, everything has to have a weakness. Unless you're God. Barely sense a strong presence, huh? Pinpoint its location. Well, we're on floor 102. How much more do you need? Well, I guess I shouldn't really complain. I'm okay, Fuka. In fact, I'll be even more okay if we can at least make it to that boss floor. And if I can actually kill it tonight... That would be glorious. Can't seem to figure out exactly where it is. All right, so just a few more pl floors. As soon as I figure out the English language, I might be able to figure out Persona 3 FES. But one miracle at a time, okay? I know, they suck! They're so difficult now. I mean, they've always been difficult because this game beats you mercilessly. If you don't get good, you get attacked by Atlas hard. 110th floor, and hell yes, it's a strong presence. Let's get there. Oh, hey, brand new enemies. The Phantom Lord and the Furious Gigas. Great. A Gigas and a mage. A mage that probably knows instant death. And on Black's Fire, good. Oh! God, Koromaru, you are quick on your feet. And I'm so glad. Maybe? Uh, that did damage. Weak against wind and light. Strong against three different things. Good God. And it's level 36. Koromaru, I love you! God, you are an awesome dog. Aw, oh, man, I wanted to scan that thing. Well, it doesn't matter. Wait, weren't you strong against this? Eh, uh, yeah, you are. Uh-oh. Uh, let's kill it. Quick. Before it's able to get off a physical attack. 
Oh, this is gonna hurt. Okay, good. Good job, guys. Oh, hey, a brand new enemy right in front of the door? Stairs. Yeah, the Almighty Hands. If I'm not mistaken, these guys are pretty nasty, too. So let's see if we can at least take out the Hulk, sir. And then we'll deal with the hands. Let's switch back to Loa. And are they weak to fire? Let's find out. No, but took pretty decent damage. Rufala on Aegis, she'll survive that. Weak to darkness. Oh, and they have light magic. Yeah, it's great. Koromaru, if you hit. Ugh. Got my hopes up. Oh, wait, my Loa knows that. Oh, shoot. Well, let's see what we can do. Trying to freeze Igus. I don't know how much freezing a robot would do, but yeah. Whatever it helps you sleep at night, Almighty Hands. Jeez. All right, I'm going to try now. Mamudo. Wait, that Gigas. Is it Repel Darkness? Or yeah, it doesn't matter. Koromaru, you are dodging everything. Even though you wouldn't be that useful in the next fight. I actually think I want to bring you just because you were dodging everything. Alright, let's see. Take out this last hand, please, so we can move onward. Wait, we've never hit this thing? It's resilient. My buffalo, everybody's getting hit with that, and... We're okay. Good job, Koromaru, and I have no idea how you broke physics like that. But you did. And you're such a good boy because of it. I want that five experience. By the way, Mitsuru went up another level in one of the fights on this floor. And look at that. I guess went up another level as well. So I think if I'm having trouble with this next boss, I might be able to just take people onto a lower lower floors of the second half of block three. Yeah, I'd try to figure that one out. But I might just take them for like a little mini grinding spree and get them a bunch of levels because it's working wonders here. Ooh, that's a spear. Who uses spears? Hmm. Interesting. Yes, Fuka. I am actually working towards that floor. In two more floors, we can fight what it is I've been dreading for a while. Oh, no. The Jotun of Power. These suckers are nasty. I know I've been saying that about a lot of the enemies here, but these ones in particular. These and another enemy types are a nuisance in every game you see them in because they have tons of HP, they have extremely high levels of magic, and look at that moveset. Bufadine Diorama, so it has a chance to heal itself almost completely. Bufala Hama, so it can deal instant death. And Last Resort. If it has low enough health, it'll just blow up. And it has the ability to knock out an entire team. I know it doesn't have spells that are specifically for every target, but that Last Resort is a kick in the face. Because if you are doing really well against this boss, not a boss, but it feels like a boss, if you're doing so well and all of a sudden it just blows itself up, that is so disheartening. And also I think it's a little bit insulting to be killed by something on a hobby horse. Kill it! Oh my god, so much health! It has so much health! Uh, double fangs, let's see if we can knock it down. No? A Bufadine on Mitsuru? Hey, if you want to aggro on Mitsuru, go right ahead. She's not doing much. A little bit of fire. Good job, Koromaru. And we have to be able to kill it before it does last resort. What do you got, Mitsuru? A slash attack? That'll work. Uh, I think it's got one more round left in it, so let's see how much damage we can do. <laughs> so much for that. 
strike it's oh my god Koromaru! <laughs> you are so good tonight god i wish everyone had a debut like you this is oh you want to hit me nope sorry and you're actually gonna kill this thing for me almost of course it has to do that really crappy thing where it hangs on with one hp i'm so glad we were able to kill that thing god those things are obnoxious Learn Zionga. I will gladly get rid of Zeo for that. For a higher electric, electrical damage dealing. I, I, I swear I speak English. It's my first language. I can speak it. I swears. And we're out. One more floor. One more floor and we can fight it. I will definitely be... There's the stairs. <laughs> Good. Good. Really strong enemy in the middle of the room. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Not really, but yeah. It's down there. Hi. Not going to fight you yet. All right. Let's head back down. Let's save. And next time on Persona 3 FES... We're going to fight that thing. I will see you guys next time.